port, officers can now track 10,000 vessels or ships at any one time with the new Vessel Traffic Information System, or VTIS. The radar-based computer system was launched by Minister for Transport, Louis Tak Yu, when he commissioned the Port Operations Control Centre at the Changi Naval Base on Monday. I'm pleased to announce that POCC Changi is fully equipped with the next-generation Vessel Traffic Information System. This new VTIS is able to monitor nearly 10,000 vessels at any one time, twice the capacity of the current systems. Singapore sits strategically on the crossroads of trade between Asia and Europe. We have the world's busiest port by vessel arrival tonnage, with more than 127,000 vessels totaling some 1.92 billion gross tons calling at our port last year. As a premier hub port along important trade routes, Singapore places strong emphasis on the safety of navigation to sustain the flow of maritime trade. We need to continue to invest in additional capacity to enhance the safety of navigation as demands on our port and shipping lanes grow. Vitas began to develop a third POCC in Changi in 2009. So how does the VTIS, which was first launched in Singapore in 1990, keep Singapore's waterways safe and efficient? Well, the new VTIS, which was developed by Norwegian company Kongsberg, tracks movement of vessels over 300 gross tons, including smaller boats like leisure craft. It records their movement on an electronic chart and radar display. The VTIS also brings together information from various sources like radars, automatic identification system, harbour craft transponder system, and closed circuit television system or CCTV on a single screen. In addition, the new VTIS system also has 56-inch screens installed, and these allow vessel traffic management officers to view the entire Singapore coastline at one glance. Previously, they had to toggle between several windows on smaller 20 by 20 inch screens. These improvements save them about 30 seconds of searching per vessel. Despite the advancements in technology, one challenge remains for vessel traffic management officers, talking to ship captains and guiding them. I think the main challenge is uh, communication with the vessels, because the vessels that transit through the streets of Singapore uh, come from various countries. You get people from China, India and so on and so forth. So most of them are trained to communicate in the standard marine time communication phases, but occasionally you get vessels where they won't be able to understand our language, English language. So there may be times where we have to speak in their native language. How many languages do you usually communicate with these vessel operators in? Uh, normally in three languages, English, Chinese and Malay. Yeah. So why these three languages in particular? Uh, three languages in particular because the home trade uh, sailors are normally from Indonesia, so they speak Bahasa and Don, so they would understand Malay better. And uh, you have part of the sailors sailing are Chinese nationals. The Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore, or MPA, currently operates two port operations control centres, Tanjong Paga Complex and PSA Vista. The newly commissioned POCC Changi will eventually replace the POCC at Tanjong Paga Complex. In total, the MPA has invested $25.4 million to build POCC Changi and to upgrade POCC Vista.